is just his comfort pick because that's obviously like the character he's put the most time into. But nonetheless, we're going to have another Pokemon battle here, Esam versus Schroeder. Wow, Esam just wasting no time in a round start. Just goes in immediately with that dash oh. attack and still going at 40%. I just blinked. And all yeah. of a sudden, he's... Uh... Yeah, what a punish there. And usually you would think you can't punish something that goes that high, but, you know, Pikachu and Pichu, they have those thunders that start very, very, very high. Yeah. All right. Now Schroeder with the positioning. How is he going to get here? Gets clipped and uh, on shield by the Thunder Jolt. It looks like that's going to be Esam saving grace right now on the ledge trapping. Oh, and he goes in for the dare. Oh, catches the up as well to the ledge. Directional air dodge. Esam trying to get a very deep back air. Looking really scary here, trying to get the hydro pump going, but not going to connect it. Yep. Oh, the parry, but still going to get a four tilt into the dash attack. Not quite going to be able to kill yet, but still. Schroeder looking in a really rough position and gets clipped by the dare. Great read, just covering that ledge, knowing that no matter where he's going with that hydro pump, he's going to come back to the stage somehow. Exactly, and Esam did a really good job of positioning his dare, and we even saw him fan it outwards as well to cover that high. Very great option select coming out from Esam. Very veteran and seasoned edge guarder. Oh, and here's the combos, the up airs, almost connecting, but Schroeder able to get out, trying to nail this kill here. Oh, just try to wait at the ledge, but Pikachu has those burst options to be able to come back and just catch you off guard while you're trying to wait for that option. Quick attack, of course, like we said, oh. gonna clip, wow! Dang, keep throwing those T-Jolts in my face. I'll hit you with the substitute, and right there, Schroeder nailing that stock. Yeah, Esam definitely gotta be careful about that when he's coming back to the stage. Yeah, exactly, and you can't throw up your shield on stage or when you're off stage like that. So has to commit to an air dodge, which is still not a very good position. Oh, get the charge, and he does catch the landing Schroeder, falling right into the hands of Esam, and what a read. Yeah, I, I heard the, the smash charge, and I was thinking, oh, up smash. And, and then he looked like he wanted to space away for that and just landed right into it. Unfortunate for Schroeder, but he's going to lose that stock there really early, especially considering Pikachu's... Uh, uh, kill potential. Oh, hits the down air and gets the tech chase. No, Schroeder gonna try to strike back, but the back air out of shield for Esam. Both players facing each other out, trying to get these T-Jolts started. The cross up, no. Oh, drag down bear. Tries to run off with the fair too, but still close him with the thunder as he tries to come back to the stage. Oh, back air cross up, yeah, and that's one thing about Greninja, his out of shield options are not the greatest. So you definitely can cross him up, probably one of his biggest weaknesses. Oh, the tech chase from Esam gets the grab, the down throw, Thunder not going to connect. Oh, Schroeder just not finding the hits he needs, but Nair to four, there's still not enough to do it on these side blast zones. Oh, tries to use the Hydro Pump to mess up the quick attack. Oh, tech chase situation, Esam tries to get the tech away, but does not connect. Still hits the dash attack, but not enough to take the stock. What's he oh, doing here? Wow. Okay, just circles right around that there. Yeah, again, Esam, you see him heavily abusing the fact he's knocking on that shield on the backside, and Schroeder can't do much. Yeah. Especially against a very short character, um, Greninja's best option out of shield for behind him is that back here, and wow, be so much damage. Yep. Yeah. Just uh, held in on that. Uh, uh, wonders happen when you hold in uh, on a jab like that on, on the stage. Oh, and wow, is up throw going to take it? Wow, 170% Schroeder. Will lose his final stock. Esam with a, oh, looks like we're running it back. Okay, yeah. Charter just wanted to confirm. He did it like three times, and Esam wasn't quite processing that. But here we go. We're going to go run it right back. Yeah, Four. very, very solid two stock coming out from Esam. We'll see if we see a character switch. I, I feel like Charter will stick with the Greninja here. I, I, I honestly feel like he has to just make a, some, some tad adjustments. But did I just hear Richter? No. Uh, no, don't I do heard, this, man. I heard Richter. Okay. On again, no. Okay, no, no, okay, no. okay. I mean, he, ha Richter, he has a Richter. I've I mean, it. Richter Pikachu is like, no, you don't do that. Yeah, I know. You <laughs> definitely just do not do not do that. Okay, well, let's see how this goes down. He's keeping the same characters, keeping the same stage. Let's see if Schroeder can uh, try and recollect himself, bring something back around his game, too. Yeah, we're going to be on the same stage as well, like you pointed out. Um, we'll see. Uh, it, I just feel like in terms of just like... Schroeder's defense, he can't depend too much on shield. I feel like right now he's do it using a lot of shield to try and like thwart off um, Esam's, oh my lord, he's still going. Yeah. This, this oh. combo is still going. Yeah, he's clipped in there. I don't know if it was like a shield drop or uh, or like poked out of the shield, but oh my oh. god, and he just <laughs> finishes it right there with the thunder, wow. catching that high recovery. <laughs> that, that skull bash was awkward. Esam wanted to go past the ledge, but right, yo, gets him into an edgeguard situation though? Was the skull bash just a bait all along? 
<laughs> if that was, then big brain plays coming from East Ham, <laughs> knowing that he would try to substitute it. But still, makes the most out of that scenario regardless. Great stuff from East Sam. Okay. I thought for a second he might SD there by pressing too many buttons. Yeah, I think he definitely wanted a wall jump. And wow, the, that and that's the one thing about Greninja is that that counter can be good, but most of the time it's it just not quick enough. Yeah. Sometimes your opponent can act out of it and it's just not in the right place to be able to do it. Oh, and this pressure again. Like we see Schroeder going in the shield and Esam has is so good at pressuring it without being just being safe while pressuring it. And right now it just feels like Schroeder's having so much trouble dealing with that defensively. How does he make it wow. through? Okay. Catches him on startup of the second Thunder Jolt. Tries to hydro pump him off the top like we saw maybe a little bit earlier with Salem. Not quite gonna work there. Okay, the charge and gets the counter this time, and Esam not close enough to the ledge to snap. So Schroeder will be taking that first stock. Yeah, but 114% already, and Esam is relentless on the stock. But Schroeder trying to get something started here, putting him off stage, and parries that thunder jump, puts him back in the position to try to continue on the string. Not gonna punish that dash tag there. Oh, gets dragged down. Esam going for the down tilt, waiting, trying to get this forward smash, trying to get this stock. Schroeder not giving it to him. Respecting the space on that Thunder Jolt, uses the Nair to trade it out. Yep, very common uh, way for Pikachu and Pichu to approach with their Thunder Jolts as well. Just a very nice hitbox to come in with is just so, so good. Rock dash, dash attack? Yeah, not going to be it. Definitely a move that kills a lot earlier for Pikachu than Pichu. Oh, trying to get this edge guard. Wow, the up be actually hitting him, but pushing him very far because of the Hydro Pump water mechanic. Yeah. Oh, just, okay. I mean, it's not as strong as the Pichu one, but Porto will work you in some scenarios. You know what? Scenarios. At 160, it gets the job done. Yeah. Oh, wow. Forward air into that attack. And Esam is still keeping the pressure going. And the Nair just barely hitting. Uh, you definitely know Schroeder was trying to get that whiff punish. And right now, things are looking a little too grim here. I feel like if Schroeder is not able to mount a comeback, we're definitely going to see a character switch. Yeah. Oh, just the high recovery goes around the water shuriken and still gets some damage on to Stroder and just shields that Nair to be able to get that Nair out of shield for himself and continuing on the pressure. Every time Esam hits that shield, it's just he has so many different block strings and Stroder just can't deal with it. The down smash is going to take it. Another two stock coming out from Esam. Great cross up there on the down smash to be able to close it out. Of course, it will send you whatever direction that Pikachu is facing. So, yeah, that was just a great kill option altogether. All right, so now going into game number three. I, I, I feel like at this point, Schroeder will switch off. Um, I'm not too sure which character we'll see. Uh, Schroeder plays a lot of the characters. We saw the Mario earlier. Um, me, Swordfighter, might be the pick. Uh, I, I've definitely seen him play Lucina as well. Lucina. Oh, Doc. Oh, the Doc. The Doc is coming out. And uh, fun fact, uh, Esam did indeed lose to a Dr. Mario at Frostbite in winner's bracket. The um, Luis actually probably going to end up being the number two PR for NorCal. Shout outs to Luis. Uh, but yeah, he, he did beat Esam with Doc. And okay. it's funny too because, uh, what do you call it? He lost to like Nairo's Doc in Smash 4 as well. Yeah, right? I don't know. This is just a car cursed character, man. <laughs> <laughs> cursed character here for Esam. But uh, Dr. Mario has got some stuff in this game. He down throw, uh, down throw, down B can kill you by the ledge at like 40, 30%. Or you can just do it raw and it'll kill at 100. And right there, Schroeder definitely showing it off. And wow, he definitely is doing much better with the Dr. Mario. Yep. But of course, Dr. Mario, a very uh, poor recovery altogether. So, yeah, um, which is crazy because it, it's so funny that Esam loses to Doc sometimes because, like, he is so good at edge guarding and Doc, Doc's recovery is so horrible. <laughs> like, yeah. it just, it, it's just very ironic. Yeah. Well, we'll see how it goes down. Okay, oh, this, Jabber's is, this dead. should be dead. Yeah. Ooh, okay, really good DI. Going to have the down B as well. Going to use the jump pill and gets back on the stage, but he's still in the air. Esam's continuing this. The down throw, trying to get, oh, wait a minute. Catches the landing with forward smash, but still not enough. All right, uses up that down B. How is he going to make it back? Oh, the voice of lightning. Yes. <laughs> I don't know, man. Sometimes when I see Esam edge guard duck, it looks like he's not going as hard. It's like he's staying on the ledge. Yeah. Rather than going deep like he did before against like Greninja, for example. Up throw, not going to do it still. And right now, all right. Living to 184%. I mean, really good stock mileage, but he didn't get much damage on that next stock. Only 34% here on Esam. Yeah, all right. Continuing on, gets that bear, puts him off stage, tries mm. to go in for the bear, putting him in a bad position, but he's gonna get clipped by that up air, actually, on that bear. And when you see Stroder randomly throwing out these capes when he's above uh, Esam, it's because he wants to reflect the thunder. He's, of course, yeah. he's definitely not just like throwing it out just to throw it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Because that is a projectile in, in the end, so it can't be reflected. But let's oh. see. Oh, the drag down there and gets another grab out of it. Very nice stuff from Sam. Oh, keeps the juggle going. No jump here, but able to get back on the ground. And Schroeder, man, not being able to hit this ground. He's doing an amazing job of keeping this juggle going. Oh, tries to go for the Darren, the dash attack. I think he DI'd in a little bit there, so yep. that's going to be a, quite an early kill. Okay. Oh! Oh, oh! And he gets the Thunder Reflect into the down B. What a conversion here for Schroeder. I can't believe it. You know what? Even if Schroeder may not be like the best player in the world or anything like that, he is definitely one of the most creative out there when oh, it yeah. comes to how he gets these kills. Amazing stuff. Putting it into an even stock situation. But yeah, once again, Schroeder off stage, trying to get back the down smash. Going to send him in the opposite direction. Really big break here. Try to get the down air started. And man, that moves tight. I definitely want to see him land one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, up smash out of shield. Ooh, spacing out with this fair. Now both players going back into neutral here. Spacing each other out. Isam trying to get in with this neutral and up air, but these out of shield options here for Schroeder. And that's something he did not have access to with Greninja. Now he has this up B out of shield. He has this up smash, but wait a minute. The up smash from Isam coming in. Yeah, did not get that down B that he wanted. Of course, it's a high potential kill move, but when you whiff it, it is kind of dangerous. Oh, gonna get that back throw. Put him off stage one more time. What's the edge guard gonna be? Just gets that fair, and that's gonna close that out. Isam with the immediate handshake. Yep, and three. Oh, 